Hey, y'all. Hey. I just came on here to talk real quick. Oh, some shit that I seen. Um, what was that? About Monique. Monique went out and she was telling the ladies, our sisters, to not come outside with the with the bonnets on your head. Like, I be saying that shit too. Like, oh my God. Not only the but the bonnets, also the 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 sleepwear, sweethearts. What are y'all doing? And why are you doing that? That is not fly. Like it's sleepwear. That's where you wear that. You wear it in your house when you're about to go to sleep when you're resting. See, that's why a lot of people don't get the etiquette part. And it definitely ain't, and just like I agree with her with that too, it definitely ain't about you trying to to live up to what somebody else's uh, standards of what life is like or, or whatever the case. It's just about representation and, rep- and representing yourself. I think that's important. And if you're the type of person who care about that and know the importance of that or want to learn the importance of that, wearing sleepwear outside is not what it is. Like, it's just, it shows that you definitely don't have no etiquette. Like, you don't have, like, too much of anything, really. Because you're coming outside dressed like that. That's not what this, that's not what outside is for. No, that shit is great. This, this, but you know what, the ignorance, I'm not even going to address that shit, because it's a whole lot of fucking ignorance. This shit wet. This shit is wet. Luckily, I got a bag, bitch. So, yeah, but she did. And then also, I had to see somebody tell somebody about their etiquette, too. This is a grown woman. And she was just out of line, out of pocket. We at a place that's, you know, sophisticated, it's grown. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you would behave as such. Which I think you would have that type of posture about yourself anyway, wherever you are, right? But, I, yo, listen... Oh my God, talking loud. I guess because she need attention, I guess. Or she thinks she need attention. Let me tell you ladies something too. Men see you regardless. Like you don't have to be extra loud and, and carrying on for, no, for, for somebody to recognize you. People see you. A lot of people just don't say shit. Because a lot of people don't have any conversation and they don't know how to have a conversation with someone. Yeah, oh my God, why is, okay, I'm looking at this dude on the field, why he, it's a whole bunch of boys, why he pulled his pants down and was humping the air like, yo, what the fuck is that, is that some gay shit, it kind of, yeah, kind of, yeah, that looked like it, yeah, y'all have to, man, y'all have to be careful with that too, with, with, with boys like that, who is interested in that, unless you interested in that, because what fuckers will show you what they interested in? They'll definitely show you who, show you themselves, basically. Like, why are you pulling your pants down like that around a whole bunch of boys? Because you want to fuck the dude. That's what that shit means, period. And I know a lot of men, like men, women, we don't know, unless you hang around a lot of men, and I know a lot of men, like, you know, not like that bitch, don't get it fucked up. But I know a, a lot, the people I like to hang around are men. Women, not so much. I don't seem to have like too much of a bond. I don't know. It just it just it just don't work. Whatever the fuck. So, but anyway, the majority of the dudes, are people I hang around with, are males, and you know, like men, they tell me a lot of shit. Like a lot of males, they get into shit. Like they had a threesomes with a girl. I'll be like, yo, where the fuck y'all be finding these females? They be like, yo, it ain't no. It ain't no rape type situation. You know what I'm saying? Like it'll be a girl who will be willing to fuck like five or six dudes. Like, I couldn't even fathom that. I'm just like, where the fuck you find somebody like that to be like that to do that? But, yeah, but but guys, though, and uh, so this was until he was in a situation like that. They was, they was doing a threesome on this chick, and uh, the dude just got up and just walking around with his dick out. Maybe he was a proud of it because he had a big dick or something. I don't know. But um, the other person was like, yo, what the fuck? Yo, I, I, I'm, I get, like, this is would be the proper etiquette. I, this is what I think. Like, and mind you, I'm not a male. Y'all know that, right? Um, like, if y'all, have, if y'all having a threesome with a girl, meaning one girl, two guys, 
Now, I've heard stories of one girl and like five, six. Yo, I'm not lying, yo. These are my homies who told me this shit. Yo, this shit was great. I don't, like... And then at the time, I think they were kind of young, too. But that don't matter, because, you know, some older chicks will fuck a young dude. My son just told me that he had sex. Now, my, I don't know if it's true or not. Because, you know, he do be lying. I done caught him in several lies. Like, so I don't really know. But he said he did have sex with a 23-year-old. You know, it was one of our, 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 our talks. Dinner time, breakfast time talk. And he said that. And I was just like, eh, I wish you would have told me, yo, me and I would have to, yo, we got to have a conversation. And however it, it ends up is how it ends up. But more than likely, bitch, I'm going to be mad. So, like, bitch, you too fucking old. Y'all would think that that's like in the same um, age range. But 15 and 23? Women already mature faster than, than, than males anyway. Like, that's just a fact, right? Oh, yeah, I keep looking at this dude. Yeah, he gay. But I guess, you know, he expressing himself. I don't know. Maybe they all gay. Hey, but anyway, but yeah, he did say that. So that was like, oh, my God. But men do participate in shit like that. But, man, you got to be careful because there be a lot of dudes that be with that. But still, when I watched this one porn, yo, for real, I told, I don't know if I told you, but my motherfucking third eye, that that bitch work, work. I see all the shit that motherfuckers be trying to, I don't know if they try, well, no, people, they try to hide or people just don't pay attention to. And that's because, I, you know, I'm super observant. Like, I always pay attention to my surroundings and shit like that, right? So, um, this one situation that happened, Yo, that happened again. I think I told y'all this. Like, I could be talking about something and that shit would just go out the motherfucking window. And that is what just happened. And I had a good ass story to tell y'all too. <laughs> That's fucked up. But that shit is gone, gone. Man, listen. But yeah, ladies, but etiquette across the board for men and women. Yeah. And how I had to, you know, tell this girl, like, you know, this woman to chill because she was out of pocket. Like, what are you doing? And I said, if you had a basketball game, you somewhere where you having a, like that. I mean, although, yeah, we having a good time and shit, like, but it was just, like, wait a minute, to where everybody turned and was looking in, our, in her direction because they weren't looking at me because I'm looking at the bitch too. And everybody looked, I looked too, like, like, what? You know, you got somebody like, the what? Bitch, what? <laughs> like, whoa. Mm -mm -mm. Another thing, too, people, you have the people that you fuck around, the, that you be hang around, everybody isn't meant, I don't know, to be around you. They just not. And you have to know where to cut relationships off. And they don't necessarily mean like a romantic relationship. You know, when you intertwine with anybody, that's a relationship. You know what I'm saying? You know, mother, son, mother, daughter, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, teammates, schoolmates, people you see outside, you kick it with, or whatever you kick. You know what I'm saying? Whoever occupy your time, you have a relationship with that person. But sometimes you have to let motherfuckers go. Like, nah, I can't fuck with you. Not until you do better, but you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not. I know I'm not on this on that type of time. Especially a negative bitch, I cannot. No, nope, you can't be around me. I don't. I don't even like negative people. I try not to, because I like to think of myself as a, a positive person. I, I I just think of myself as such. But some people be like, nah, they ain't. Do I mean, not like. I guess they say I have an attitude or whatever. People say I have an attitude because I express myself like things that you know that don't sit well with me, I'm going to, I'll say something about it. I'm not just going to sit back and let that shit like ride. Cause if I do that, that shit eats, that shit eats me up. And then when I finally come to, oh damn, they come over here to get that shit. The dude that was the, the gay dude. Oh, he out there playing with somebody. Now when I'm coming over here, 
everybody's coming, bro. So, but anyway. Um, what the fuck was I talking about? Yeah, learning how to let people go. So you just have to, like, people who don't belong in your circle. Like, wh whatever you define as uh, friendship or, or what you're willing to take in. And shit that's, mm -mm. And sometimes that shit is not up to part, but it's time to go. You gotta let that shit the fuck go on some real, real shit. You know what I notice about males? Like, they like to test each other's masculinity a lot. But I guess that's just them. And can y'all chill with the cursing? I'm a, chill with the cursing, please. There's an adult over here. Thank you very much, young men. They're respectful. No one said nothing. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Thank you very much, young man. I appreciate that. No, we have good kids. Like we do. It's just that motherfuckers just turn their head a lot. When they see them doing shit, they just be like, it ain't my kid. You know what I'm saying? No, you check their motherfucking ass. They don't necessarily mean, now the way I said it was very aggressive. The way I said to check their motherfucking ass, but just like I did with them. Bitch, I'm sitting here, you're not going to be cursing like you a whole adult. Like, no. And they, they some young men. We just got to, we have to help each other, teach each other. It's important to do that shit. And they were Hispanic. Just saying. But they was respectful. Y'all got some good kids. They just, everybody, people need guidance. Especially when they at that, you know, at a young age. Well, I just had to put this other bitch on. Yep, listen, I don't know. I don't know. But then again, I do understand everybody has their own personality. You know, if I gotta flip this motherfucking camera for this shit. <laughs> Bitches, man. Okay, whatever. I can't. I've been smoking. Motherfucker, I can't, figure, I can't find this shit to flip the camera. So anyway, I'm, I'm in the store. Because my girls is about to have a fashion show. I'm about to put y'all on to that in a second. I'm super excited. That's what I've been working on that. Like y'all understand the requirements and everything I do is at excellence level. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's, that's it. Right? Regardless of whatever the budget is, it's at excellent level. And it's a lot of time put into that, right? So anyway, um... What the fuck was I about to say? Oh, so I was at the store. And. Was that I was at the store, and this, um, this lady, like, I seen her, like, she was she was talking to some people. And I, she's kind of far away from me at this time, but I noticed that, you know, she's a little loud talking about whatever, whatever. She had on some dress I didn't even look at. Like, I looked and glanced. It wasn't, she wasn't doing nothing, you know, fashionably. So, you know, I kept it pushing. So, you know, just noticed that, and she was loud, like, at a distance. So, I'm standing in line. Y'all, check this shit out. Why this bitch? Like, when she walked past me, like, clapped mad loud. I'm like, wait, like, all in my ear. Like, wait a minute, yo, what you doing? Yo, you being, you being really loud right now. Go over there with her, like, calm down. And then she said, mind you, she speak. she seems like she only speak uh, Spanish, but she could say downtown right so what I got from that was that up here there are people loud but downtown they quiet or some shit no but it's just a respect thing anybody can be whatever you can be whatever you want to be like at any given time yes see this where this etiquette goes into play that this grown woman my that bitch could have been 35 she looked like she was 65 you know what I'm saying she was Hispanic I'm just saying so, but by, who knows how, but she was an older looking woman, right? And loud, like, girl, you don't have no etiquette? You see? See, it goes back to that, just like with those little kids. Like, you know, I have to let them know. Mine, they, they some feet away from me, maybe like 15 feet away from me. Um, but I can hear them. You know, you have to, you know, I have to say something. And they was respectful. And maybe nobody never did that to her. The people turn their head a lot, like I said earlier. Oh, that's not my child. They don't give a fuck. And which is fucked up, because it's called a community. And you have to care about your community, motherfuckers. If you don't, then, you know, shit like that'll happen. You'll be young, and then when you grow, you'll be like the bitch that was at the fucking supermarket who I felt like punching in her motherfucking face. 
Like, for real. But, you know, you got to be calm. You got to be cool. You got to be reserved. Because you can't just can't go around hitting people. Hitting people for what? And actually, you hit people harder with your words. And I wasn't being, like, like mean to this lady or anything like that. I just let her know, like, yo, you, you loud. And you're in my ear. Like, she was in, like, you know how you take your hand? She was in that, in my vicinity of my person. Bitch, back the fuck up. You doing way too much with all that and think that you just going to get away with that? Like, wait, wait a minute. Cha, 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 cha. When people don't know. Or oh, nothing I can't stand is my son. This little motherfucker trying to challenge me about what the fuck happens in my shit that I pay for. Sweetheart, you are just a, you a loving guest. That's what you are. Because in a minute, it'll be time for you to go. Because that's how it goes with children, you know. You got to you jump your ass on out. Go out go out to the world. Experience the world. Hopefully, everything that I taught you will be a, a part of you. And you do well. Mentally, physically, spiritually, financially. Emotionally, all that shit. But yeah, it's going to be time for you to go. So maybe check this little motherfucker out. So I like the series that comes on Netflix. I used to watch when it came on TV. I was like, I'm a, I do. I like TV shows and I like movies. So, um, and yeah, and uh, what the fuck? So I used to watch Lucifer, right? It's about this 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 man. I think he's from England or somewhere, some some Europe something. He has an accent. He wear like nice clothes, and he be dissing people who be looking like the way they hubby. Like yes, right. <laughs> Only a fashionista would peep that. Like a fashion sir or a fashionista would peep that. Like, but but besides that, like when he is the devil, you know the devil. Like from the Bible, they say that he was an angel. And he turned bad, whatever the fuck. So but anyway, it's a, it's a cute little story. So I do watch that. So my son was watching something about these people whose houses was possessed and all this old shit. They was hearing this and that and all this old shit. Of course, this is Caucasians. I'm just saying that's what I seen that was on the show. So I'm like, oh no. I just gotta tell y'all, wanna just roll past me. But anyway, uh, so he watching that, you know, about these people being haunted. They were all Caucasians, whatever shit going on in their house, in their house. So I told my son to take that shit out of my house. So he was like, oh, but you watch Lucifer. Okay, and like first of all, I don't feel like I need to explain anything to you due to the fact that you're a loving guest. You're a loving guest, a guest. A guest don't they don't live there. That's what that means. So because this is my shit, you have to buy by my rules. Like so, you gonna say because I watched Lucifer and he watching the hunt? Like what's the di- the difference? Is I said turn that shit the fuck on. Like, I don't have time to be explaining this to my child. Like, I'm not going to, you know, I don't mind having conversations because we definitely can have that. But what I say goes, that's it. Like, all that other shit don't. Fuck out of here. You a loving guest. Okay, get your work in. I see you. It's a little one. He, he, he working out. He done ran around like twice. Athletes, when, when the athlete is serious about what the fuck they do, though they doing that shit. But anybody who's serious about anything that they do, they doing that shit. Thinking of that shit, my son, like this little motherfucker. Uh. Now I tell you, he stayed out till one o'clock. He stayed out till one o'clock. I was cool, calm. His, his father was like really. I kept telling that motherfucker, yo, stop calling me and hanging up in his face. Because what he was doing was making me nervous. And I was trying not to go there. You know what I'm saying? But although you can't help to go there because, you know, I do have a, my son is a black male. And, you know, all sorts of shit can happen when you are a black person, especially if, if Caucasians are involved. Or just in general, but I'm some real shit, especially that shit. The, the racist shit. You know? So this motherfucker, when he fought, so his daddy kept calling me, and he was he was um, he was uh, really really frantic and all that little shit. And then, so this motherfucker comes in the house 
whatever. I tried to beat him with whatever, like, yo. But you know, he fast, so I can't catch him. And then, you know, I'm not, I'm not a runner so much. As y'all know, I have two hip replacements. Not that that stopped me, but I'm not about to be running after. If I don't need to run, I'm not going to. So that don't happen. And my knee go out, yo. Listen, <laughs> some shit. But I'm good though. But so he did that, and then prior to that, two weeks before that, he he got at least he said he got jumped by three guys. Like I said, my son has he's a, he has I've caught him in lies, so he is a liar. I don't really believe everything he wants to fucking say. But I don't think he will lie about that. At least I hope not. You never know. You never know what somebody telling the truth about. So many people live in fictional motherfucking worlds, especially with this uh, social media shit. It got a lot of people fucked up. You have to love yourself. You. Don't be looking around at the next motherfucker. You're beautiful. You. You're a beautiful you. But people don't see that shit. They only think that a oh, one sort of beauty because that's what the media does that's what these motherfucking Caucasians has done because they are the one who control the networks and shit is that you know they put forth that beauty which you know what they call beauty which is like the fair skin the straight hair you know but now they move because they already know that the, 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 the beauty is the black beauty is the, is the beauty they know that you know <laughs> And then some of you, because you don't know that, you fall to the shit too. Like when the, you know, like the the white girls get the the fake lips, the titties, the ass, the, the tan, the oh my god, yo, this shit is fucking crazy. But ladies and gentlemen, be a beautiful you. And how they say one man, like it just has to be a muscular man. Although I do typically do like a muscular man, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm into you know, I like sports and shit. I'm an athlete and shit. So I do like that kind of body type. But still, there's still other motherfuckers. You're still a beautiful person. You have to know that about yourself or some real shit. I don't give a fuck about what nobody think about me. Like, good. I mean, hopefully, you know, if you're in agreeance, in an agreeance, that's cool. But if not, that's cool, too. Keep it pushing. I just want to come on here and just share these thoughts with y'all today. And, and number one, don't go outside of your motherfucking pajamas or your underwear. That is disgusting. It's called sleepwear. And that is for when you're in the house. And you're about to go to sleep or you're just lounging around. Or, or, and also loungewear. Like your robe. A gown. Some smoker pants. You know, that's what that's for. And etiquette. People work on your, like, etiquette is everything. Like, woo. That, but that's a whole subject. But, but work on it. And that's also plays in the etiquette. Like, the way you dress. Don't come outside in your, in your pajamas. And um, when, when you're places, you act accordingly. I said, you can be you, but, you know, be a, act accordingly. Because each one teach one. You know what I'm saying? Maya, I mean, it, well, it is kind of, like, they told Monique to mind her business about that, but nah. Like, for real, everybody needs to teach the next person. Because clearly you don't, I mean, you don't know. This is, like one, oh, this is another story before I go. So it was these little kids. I'm riding my bike. So there was this one guy. It's always the boys, right? This one boy was holding on to um, the fence while the other little boy was pulling him, right? And I was like, leave him alone, right? And then I was like, he messed with you. So the dude that had his hand on the fence was like, he said, no, of course. And But he was, he was yanking it mad hard. And then he was like, that's your mama? The dude that was doing the yanking. And I was like, no, I'm not. He was like, no, it's not my mother. I was like, no, I'm not his mother. Then the other was like, that's your mother? No, I'm not. I'm not anybody's mother. I'm a community mother. And you don't leave him alone. Clearly, like, he don't want to be bothered with you. What are you doing? That's another thing, too. You got to teach your kids how to fight. Don't be letting motherfuckers bully you around. And the, most per and the person that's probably doing that shit is a bitch. Will get monkeys stomped, dragged. <laughs> Drowned, shot, all that shit. Like, bitch, sit, like, sit your ass down. Most people who be on the fuck shit, 
Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they hold energies like that. They some punks. Like, seriously. There's so much shit I can talk about. But yeah, so anyway, so they was like, no, let's not my mom. Oh, my God, distracted. Somebody was walking by. Y'all know I'm in the fashion just watching. There was a lady. I do. I love ladies' fashion. Not that she was fashionable. I'm just checking her out up and, you know, just checking her out, her fashion. So I got distracted. I can be distracted by that shit. So, but yeah, so the little, so back to the story. So the little boy, um, and I was like, look, and I could see, like, they was like, yo, the whole, who mama is that? You ain't nobody to change your mama. Leave him alone. That's it. I said what I said. I said, most people said, then he said something. So I said, now I had to get gangster with him. Man, he a little boy. He could have been like seven, eight years old. Your children is out here, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know, some shit like that. Years old. And he said something. And I was like, yeah. Um, so I had to curse at him because he had got a little stink in his little conversation. And he said, um, so, but anyway, I said, I remember what he said. I said, most people don't will see you and they don't give a fuck about you. They just keep on going, just keep on walking and let it just go on and let you deal with it. When it can be dealt with. When you see something, like the little boy was clearly in distress, like he wasn't in the, you know what I'm saying? He, he didn't feel like being bothered with this dude. The people who see that shit or act like they don't see it it's because once again, it ain't my baby, it ain't my son, it ain't my child. That's them. But yeah, you want somebody to jump in when your child is involved. Lord, etiquette teach one, uh, each one teach one. It's just, it's important to do that. It's important. Anyway, y'all take care. Y'all have a lovely day. Oh, I got to give me some white strips. They said the white, oh, y'all, my shit. Y'all look like a motherfucker. I drink a lot of tea. I love tea. I have to leave that shit alone sometimes. And some caffeine to a little bit. Like, I like my frappuccino. And berries. Anything that, you know fruit and shit that's just all that shit stains your teeth now my teeth not now they, they're not um rotten or uh filled with plaque let's let's get it together or um tartar now those are like three different substances my shit is just stained from eating and it is like it's, but people who teeth are like too white white like oh jt girl i love you jt girl but girl miss girl girl miss girl sister miss sister girl them big ass motherfucking teeth bitch y'all just not gonna act like them shits is not just hanging out her mouth like that bitch you should have just got your mother you should have just bought you some motherfucking white strips that's it when i use white strips people be like yo when you go get your teeth, you know what I'm your teeth look nice. You know what I'm saying? It's because of the motherfucking white strip. And like they got her teeth, I guess she got them totally done. I don't know what the fuck. Them bitches is hanging out her motherfucking mouth. Girl, and I love you, JT. JT is, I, JT is my girl. I love all her chocolate skin. I think she's sexy. But now you done did something to your body. You and young man, y'all big. And I like Young Miami, too. I thought she was sexy, too. Like, she is sexy, too. But she doesn't <sighs> Love you. Back to that. You know what I'm saying? You have to love you and be confident in you. You a big girl. because Like, I hate and I hate how they try to tear down Lizzo, too. Lizzo came on. She she went somewhere. She had on some, some oversized jeans. She had on some ones. I want me some ones. I definitely got to get me some ones. And she had on a... Um, uh, what the fuck you call that? Like a swimsuit uh, top, right? Just It just crossed at the top, you know, around the neck and around the, the, the back, right? With the square shape. Like, I mean, yeah, her titties is what they is. They like, you know, she's a certain age. When you get a certain age and then she lost weight, you know, because titties is nothing but fat. Yeah, y'all got to educate y'all still. Like, you know, leave that girl alone. Now, she could have, they could have, like, you know, Add some disguise, because disguise is good, because I do do uh, disguise. You know, as a woman, we do do that. Because, you know, a lot of bitches don't look like they look with that makeup on. They take that shit off, it's a whole different story. You ain't, you still ain't cute. You ain't cute no more. You was cute when you had that motherfucking makeup on, but when you took that shit off, you ain't cute no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, not no more. So we do use disguises, you know what I'm saying? So she, I felt, although I didn't have a problem with the look, I thought she looked great. I would have just put some, just a little bit of pad, not a whole bunch. So I got little ass titties, like, and I don't have a problem with my shit being little. I don't. 
But I, there is bras that have like so I don't like to wear bras with a whole bunch of fucking um, pad. Like I don't mind pad like over to the, in the corner, like the the lower left and lower right corner of the of the breast. Like some right there, but nah, look, these is my motherfucking titties. This is what it is. Like, fuck no. They not sitting up like, and Cardi B titties look like motherfucking concrete balloons. Girl, you gotta get them shits taken out. Lord, child. Kaya, your ass too, bitch. You on the docket too, bitch. I gotta go and roast this bitch, cause she all, yo, Kaya is the queen of roast. If anybody listen to her. That bitch is a funny ass bitch. She she really fucking is, but she got her ass done too. Cause Kai, she had titties and no ass. So what, bitch? So what? You still sexy, bitch? Now she done got the fat transfer from her from her ass, from her from her thighs, and from her stomach or something to her ass. Girl, bye, everybody. No, girl, bye, girl. Stop. Oh God, everybody, you gotta love you. Shit. All this shit's fake shit. These bitches be fake as fuck. A lot of bitches on here be fake. Or just natural whatever. You have to know that you're beautiful within about you. Like, stop looking at the next picture. You, and it's not nothing wrong with saying that the next a person is look nice or beautiful or whatnot. I remember once, this happened to me on, not on, on some occasions, I seen a white girl that was fly, right? Like, oh, bitch, see you, right? She, we crossed paths. Yo, you look, you look nice, right? Bitch kept her head straight. Oh, bitch, fuck you, bitch. Like, that's what I said in my mind. Like, or I said it in, she, if she, like, in my own tone, like, fuck you there, bitch. Like, you know. See, that's called etiquette right there. Like, that's how, like, you don't be like, bitch, fuck you. I said, your shit look fire. You get all loud. Like, for what? They don't need for all loud. Another example. Listen. I love motherfucking you and Lizzo did look fly I like that shit bitch I gotta get me some ones I've been saying every time I try to buy some them shits is sold out that's a billion dollar motherfucking industry I wonder, I wonder how much money money Jordan is getting off them Jordans they say he do get some oh cause I know yeah he do cause his his, his children is, is involved I like that his son and his daughter is I like that that's what's up you have to try to well I don't know, when you in business, business can be, you have to have like a big ass, if you have a big ass machine behind you, you're able to sustain. Just like, look at that shit. But still, you can still grow as a small business, don't ever get it fucked up. But I'm talking about like billion dollar status, that's a whole nother level. Okay, now I'm watching these two dudes. They was uh, fake fighting, and the fat dude, like the little dude, like he don't have no training. You can, I can see that, but he could. And the, the fat dude didn't know how. To, he definitely didn't know how to fight because he was throwing on. He could have fucked him up, but he was the, the little dude was swinging wild and, and taking his body with it when he punched. It was disgusting. But anyway, yeah, so teach your children how to fight. Teach your children how to fight mentally, spiritually, financially, emotionally. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, some real shit. Yo, living over here by this goddamn Yankee Stadium, <laughs> yo. When these games is over with, that's the best thing, like, ever. Because these motherfuckers be everywhere. But it's a beautiful day. So, yeah. The JT girl, no. Kaya girl, you and them girl, no. And you want to talk about, you can't say nothing about no fake booty now, bitch, because you got a fake booty too. So, there's no, but you cannot, you're not, you're not on that spectrum. You ain't on this side. You ain't on the natural beauty side. <laughs> you chose to go over there. That's cool. Like, everybody make their own choices and shit like that. You know, and I think too, like, although, like, the fake booty should, like, that shit ain't gonna stop a motherfucker from fucking a motherfucker. Like, all the women say that shit. And also, men do, too. They'll say that. They can tell. Some some of y'all bitches out here, y'all ass and titties look real fake. Like, you can see that shit with your clothes. Oh, like, bitch, y'all fake. Right? But that would not stop a man from fucking him. That would not. I ask dudes who have had sex with girls who got fake titties and fake asses. Some dudes are like, you know, they just, you know... Uh, compared to a natural 
breasts. Like, you know, they just sit up, like, and they, you know, if your mind wrapped around, like, if it's sitting up, breasts naturally sit up when you're a young woman. Yes, they do. And some people, my New York mother had not nice breasts, and she was like 60-something. And I told her that. She was never wearing no motherfucking bra. And I was like, and I think her titties probably was like a C. And I said, a nice C. And I told her, I'm like, you got nice breasts. She's like, what, you a freak or something? Everybody got to be a freak. So I'm like, no, you just got nice breasts. She do. Like, they her shit set up nice, like. You know, she had, like, you know, they, they hang because, you know, that's what the breasts going to do. They serve two p purposes. You know, to feed the children. When you feed your children. And when you feed your man. Like, you know what I'm But you need to focus on the, the nipples. Like, lick that. That's where all the nerve endings are. However, like, so, I guess women with bigger breasts would... would would like you know their whole I think yeah if you kiss the whole breast I just don't like my 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 nipple sucks because I breastfed my son plus I don't like that sucking shit what the fuck is that bitch that, that do not feel good it does not all that hard like you sucking like hard like on a nipple it's like no in order for me to get some pleasure out of you know and everybody is different it's, it is the nipple like lick that Get that nice and hard. Oh, you will see my, my body like just instantly turn into a rubber band. You know what I'm saying? That's how you want that shit. You understand what I'm saying? You want that body to turn into a motherfucking rubber band. And we're like, oh, shit, she, yup. She down. She with it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, she with it. Because y'all, she with it. Because you the god of it. You understand what I'm saying? You lick the nipples. And you can, also, you can do subtle bites. You know, some bitches like, you know, like super hardcore. Like, it, I don't know. That's, hey, if you super hardcore, you want. I had this one dude talk about dead again. Wait, okay, so look, he was, a, he was a cop. A black guy. We was we was talking. On, you know, we started talking on the phone. You know, I don't mind talking about sex. I don't have no problem with that. Um, you know, when you meet somebody, it is a sexual encounter. It, 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 it's either going to be one or it's not going to be one. You know what I'm saying? You know, because we're sexual beings. Not that I'm just saying. So anyway, um, so we just talking on the phone, and uh, he was like, he was talking. So I was like, you know, I don't mind a little. You know, we talking about what I, you know, ain't mind your business what I like. So, but he <laughs> said that um, he was biting. I was like, you know, like teeth. That's that's not an issue. That's not a problem. But after that, you have to apply like some some soft, loving, gentle licks. And kisses to it, like although you just hurt it now, you gotta like, you gotta soothe it. Like you just don't make that shit just hurt. Now I don't get off on just hurt. Like they ain't where I'm at with it. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, he was like, he bit this girl nipple, and he said he bit that bitch to it, motherfucking bled, bitch. Bit the breast to it, bled. Bit the breast till it bled. <laughs> One more motherfucker built the breast till it bled. That was, and he said, and she liked it, it real. Yo, so anyway, nothing came between me and this guy. Nothing sexual, nothing, no relationship, nothing. Anyway, party ways, cool. I see him out one night. He out, he chilling with some woman. And he with a Caucasian. I said, yeah. That shit you said, yeah, but you were the right person. She probably with that shit. Cause they, I find that they really be with that. Like every, so everybody like a little pain. Like, but they go like left, left, feel, feel, left, 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 left. <laughs> we holding this on the right, but the fuck you know, not on the left, 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 left. Um, yeah, each one teach one. Have conversations with your children. Etiquette first. You have to have some, and just build that out to your children and the other children that you know, or even adults. Because everybody don't know. Just because you're an adult, that doesn't mean you know. Anyway, I got shit to do. Y'all have a great day. Be productive. Stay positive. Surround yourself around great people. Be great to other people. Fuck with those who fuck with you. Um, and yeah, and most importantly, yeah, just just be kind. That don't mean if a motherfucker come at you crazy, you supposed to take that shit. That, that. <laughs> No, definitely not that. You just be kind. Just have that spirit about you. 
Oh, and speaking of that, my son, my son's father and his girlfriend, he's just so happy to see me. I was riding my bike, cutting through Harlem. And he said my name. He was like, and so I turned around. I'm like, I know ain't nobody but that motherfucker. So I turned around. It was him. He was with his girl. And he was like, oh, she mad at me. I said, they, but my his girl, she they she always mad. She be cussing them out. I feel bad for him. But see, that's what happens when you know you gotta live with a woman. You know, you know if, that, if your situation is like that. But the shit is fucked up. But then again, he fucked up too. Like, you have to see the shit because I was in a relationship with him, so I already know. He don't know how to treat his woman like he, you know, as as his woman. Like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. and then he also showed, like, for real, he showed me that he like a certain type of woman, which is the one that you see on the Instagram. Like, long as she Caucasian, like he he do. Even if you. Like, I don't know, that could be like a fantasy of his or something. But if you with your girl, you don't, like, I'm good. Okay, this man just walked by. Mind you, I am in a park. But, you know, like, he's a little close, like, due to the fact there's a lot of space. He should have been closer to the other end, not closer to me. But, you know, he can walk wherever he want. And he also had eye contact. So I looked, I looked away. And then I looked again, he's still looking, so now, you know, I'm looking at him like, you know, and he was like, hey, have a nice day or something. I was like, oh, okay. Then I took a closer look. He drinking, he probably, he drunk and shit. But anyway, y'all, you guys have a great day. Be positive, be focused, be on point, be kind, be generous, be supportive, be loving. Yeah, and nothing with etiquette too, ladies. You have to learn how to love love your man. Like, be a lady to your man. Like, I'm not saying be so, yeah, be submissive when it's time too. But definitely be um, expressive. That was scary. <laughs> you, you, definitely, you definitely have to know. That. Oh, that's a motorcycle or something. Oh my God. Why are you on? Oh, please don't be coming over here. Oh, my God. Is he riding through the park? I hope that's not you who just made that loud ass noise. Yeah, that's him. They're on a motorcycle. Well, no, like a dirt bike. And neither one of them have on a helmet. And it make this loud. You heard that shit? Let's see, etiquette. He's not supposed to be riding that shit. And it's just making all that noise. Well, the police is right there. Well, y'all gonna stop the motherfuckers? Now they going up. Yo, on the there's a. Uh, what? Oh my god. Oh my god. You see, when the police roll up on you because you being, once again, your children is out here acting a damn fool. You on a dirt bike that's like, what do you call that, firing back or whatever? And it's making this loud, it's like it sounds like a gunshot, making everybody jump. The police is like over there. See, then when they say something, because you are you out of line, once again, your etiquette. You don't, that, that, you don't belong in the park, park with that. It gets tiring to teach people. It, it does, but a lot of motherfuckers just don't know. They gotta find out, I guess, the street way. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that is, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm out of here. I got shit to do. Go be productive. Oh, yeah, the one thing I forgot. <laughs> Bitch keeps saying she leaving. Ain't left yet. But for real, this is it. Um, so, I think, did I say it already? Okay, fashion show. It's um, my girl's. They um middle school, sixth and seventh graders. I have I will have some of my um clothes real nice in the fashion show. They will be rocking for real nice. All things fresh, don't play with me. Um and they have two collections that they are going to show. The first collection is not from this group. It's only from two of the students 
actually designed something from this collection so everybody else know but they did um, revise it or reconstruct it the garment so they did they doing that and the last one they're showing their own collection like they sold the whole shit they designed the whole shit I, I was just a vessel for them and gave them the outline the blueprint and they followed and they followed with their creativity and this is what they came up with and the shit is the banger you know because let me tell you because like I said I think I, what I do shit is only the excellence excellent shit that's it So yeah, I will be posting that. That'll be probably like, I don't know, in a week or so. Because it's next, the, the show is, is next uh, week. So next week I'll be posting it. Or the following week. After I look at it and look at it and look at it and look at it. Anyway, y'all have a great one. Later.